Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering and Aspen channel. As you know that from past few lectures, we are covering the topic of property package and method. And today we are bringing another lecture on the same topic. In the previous lectures, we had studied why property package is important. What are the significance of the property packages in the simulations? Then we studied the few recommendations, Eric Colson recommendation, Bob Cedar's recommendation. Then we studied an the CN tree and now at the end of the previous lecture we said that there is an Aspen method assistant which we can use to select appropriate property package. So we are going to see that today there are two types of selection scheme. Number one is by component type. Number two is by process type. Our focus today will be on how we can select the suitable property package by component type. So before starting the video, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Now we will go to the Aspen Plus and using the method assistant and in the method assistant using the component type, we will see how we can select the suitable property package. So this is the simulation environment as you can see over here and in the tools bar, there is a method assistant available. Obtain advice on the most appropriate methods to be used in modeling chemical system of interest. So that is the summary or the description of this method assistant. Once you click on it, it will open a new screen and it will be property method selection assistant. The purpose of the assistant is to help you select the most appropriate property methods for the use with Aspen Plus and Aspen properties. The same will be applicable for Aspen Hysis as well. The assistant will ask you a number of questions which it will use to suggest one or more property methods to be used. So we will see that how many questions it will ask before giving it a right answer. So there are two types again as I have told you. Number one is component type. Number two is the process type. So let's specify the component type. Click on it. Then there are four options available in it and we will explore each option one by one. So first we will go to the chemical system, after that hydrocarbon, then special and then refrigerant. So go to the chemical system, it will ask whether the system is at high pressure, means greater than 10 bar or low pressure. If you remember our figure number 2 of Eric Carlson's recommendation, that is the same thing which is asking over here. So let's say our system is at high pressure. So it will say use an equation of state method with advanced mixing rule, these methods MHV1, MHV2. Then options can include SR Polar, PRWS, RKSWS and up to so on. Most of these equation of states require binary interaction parameters for the best results. If you do not have these interactions, use one of the predictive methods used such as SR Polar or PSRK. So this is the information which is given to us for the chemical systems at high pressure that we have to use equation of state model but with some modifications. And obviously we need some binary interaction parameters. Use this one to go back and say no the pressure is below 10 bar not at high pressure no. So use an activity coefficient method such as NRTL, Wilson, Uniquack or Unifac. There is another information about refrigerants but we will discuss it once we go to the refrigerants part. So chemical system has two properties or you can say two classifications. Number one is high pressure number two is low pressure. At low pressure, you have to select the activity coefficient models. At high pressure, you have to select the equation of state, modified equation of state models. Now going back to the hydrocarbon system, number two system in our system properties. Does the mixture contain petroleum acids or pseudo components? If you remember our figure number one of Eric Carlson recommendation, it has asked you about the pseudo components. So yes, if there are pseudo components available, then it will ask about the vacuum conditions and if you remember it has similarly asked us. So let's say it is yes. So use BK10 or MX Bonnell, Maxwell Bonnell method and it is our special model which we have selected in there. Obviously you can if you want to study the additional information about these models you can click for example on BK10 and it will give you all information about this model about the temperature range about the different characteristics. So going back say no it is not at vacuum conditions so it will allow you to so it will say use Chow Cedar or Grayson Street method. Bronk 
K10 can be also be used here. Going back, we say no, there are no pseudo components available. Then we will use the standard equation of state models such as Peng Robinson, Sov Redlich Wong, or Lee Kessler Plocker. And again, if you want to study the properties or the characteristics of each method, you can go and see it. Coming back to the special model, special component type. Special means water only, amines or water, carboxylic acid, hydrogen fluoride, electrolytes. Click on it and there are now multiple options. So going to the amine systems, use one of the following methods. Amines, Kent Eisenberg model, electrolyte NRTL, then which is an enhancement of electrolyte NRTL, ENRTL-RK. So these can be used for the amine systems among the special components. If you go to the carboxylic acid in the mixture, then you have to use an any activation coefficient method with Northnagel or Hedden O'Connell for vapor phase association. Similarly, for electrolytic system, use elec NRTL for electrolyte NRTL with Redlich Kong equation of state. Similarly, you can use Pitzer and up to so on. So once you go to these steps, you can study one by one their applications that again their characteristics and we will discuss in our upcoming lectures about these as well. Similarly, if there is an hydrogen fluoride in the mixture, use WILS-HF or ENRTL-HF or any activity coefficient method with the hydrogen fluoride equation of state method for vapor phase association. Similarly, if you go to the refrigerants, use REFPROP property method developed by NIST and REFPROF provides very accurate thermodynamic and transport properties for a wide range of refrigerants and other pure compounds and mixtures. In the same way, you can go to the sore water system, use API sore water method. And if there is only water only, then use Steam TA, Steam NBS, Steam NBS2, IAPWS, IF97, or IAPWS95. This is the current standard for properties of water and steam and is recommended. These are the previous methods, while this is the latest method for steam table selection. Going back to the refrigerants, the last type, and obviously this is the same. Among refrigerants, we have to use the ref prop. This is also, you can say refrigerants can also be counted among the special components. So these are the overall description of the selection of property methods by the component type that I have shown you that there are the four component types, chemical, hydrocarbon, special, and refrigerants. And then we have seen among chemical, about the pressure among hydrocarbon, about the pseudo components and vacuum conditions in the special mo models or special methods. Components we have seen about different like amine, carboxylic acid, electrolytes, and up to so on. And we have selected the suitable property packages. And then for refrigerants, ref prop can be used. So these are the overall descriptions for the selection of suitable property package using the component type. In our next lecture, we will use the process type to select the suitable property package. So I hope you have understood all the aspects of this lecture. If you have any queries, feedback, suggestion, please provide it in the comment box and I would be happy to answer it. So that's it from today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all updates related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel.